have a, a connector that's able to bring in data from impact directly into Blackline. So we capture things such as GL account balances, subledger balances, GL transactions, and currency rates. And by feeding that data into Blackline, we're able to start automating the account reconciliations. We can start matching high volumes of transactions, and we can also perform variance or flux analysis on a lot of those activities. So from there, I'll pass it over to Anjali to provide a, a quick demo of our solution. Hi, everyone. Can you see my screen? And can you hear yep. me all right? Yeah, yep. okay, yep, all right. Thank you for confirming. So, um, what we talked about, we are talking about black line. Let's just first understand what is the problem. The problem is this white space. Um, what white space does for us is that it provides us, um, uh, you know, we have implemented ERP, we have imp implemented intact. Now all our recording transactions are going fine. We have all the data, but when it comes the time to produce the profit and loss account, balance sheet, financial consolidation reports, um, we are dependent on spreadsheets, we are spent dependent on emails, and uh, that creates a problem. Um, ERPs do collect the data, organize it correctly, but it's far from the desired state and the users end up using emails and spreadsheet to collect, collate, and manipulate the data to produce the reports. And that's, that's uh, not the best way of doing things. So what is, the, um, what is the best way of doing things? I'm gonna give you a 100 foot view. I'm gonna go a little bit quick. We can take a deeper dive at a later point in time. Now we just saw the critical white space between the ERP and desired output. The outer blue circle over here gives us the information about black line offerings. We're gonna talk about account reconciliation, transaction matching, hint a little bit about task management and intact connector. Variance analysis is also one of the tools that you can use with intact for black line suite of uh, products. Um, so, and the center uh, is the core. The center circle actually talks about the templates the business logic that's configurable and designed as per your business rules. And you can do analysis and report and all of, all of the tasks are tied with the workflow. What is unique about this uh, core of Blackline is that this is the foundation on which entire Blackline suite of products is designed. So you will see the same theme of uh, templates, uh, business rules configuration throughout the product. So let's, let's see, this is a C example of CFO dashboard. Why don't we go and see a, an, a real dashboard? Okay, can you see a URL, a website? Yeah. I take that as a yes. So we're just gonna log into a website and what we see is an actual dashboard. Now, I just showed you a CFO dashboard. That was a screenshot. And I'm now showing you a live dashboard from the business, uh, from the product. As a preparer, I see a very different dashboard from CFO because CFO has the view of the entire company. And I, as a preparer, Kim Wilson, have a limited view as to the accounts that I am responsible for. But I see the overview of my entire um, status right now, how many uh, reconciled balances, how many reconciled balances. And I also see the certification status right over here. I can also see the status of my task. I can see what are my tasks due. Not only that, I also can actually edit my dashboard and add the pre-delivered, -de -de pre pre-configured uh, cards to this dashboard, make it more unique and more purposeful for my needs. In addition to that, like I was showing you a CFO dashboard before, there are multiple roles that are available for you to run your, your accounting organization in a more uh, organized fashion. All these roles are actually designed to work with segregation of duty. So you're only responsible for what one account at a time. You cannot be an approver and a preparer for the same account. 
this is a quick overview of the products that are available. You don't have to memorize very complex menu paths. You don't have to remember how your journals variants, uh, you know, how, how to go about to reach the right product. They're all very intuitive. Um, you can drill through right from here, and I'm going to show you quickly how to do a quick account reconciliation. Uh, so uh, this, this particular account hasn't been reconciled. The status is edit. Okay, now if I have to go and look into the detail, what it's going to present to me is actually a template. What template does for me is that I know exactly where my data is going to show. I have the view of my entity. I, this is the, uh, you know, uh, template that I'm using. And this is the information how I can actually add an amortizable item or add a supporting item. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly add the sub amortizable item because my unreconciled balance was $5,000. I can provide the dates and it creates the schedule for me. I look at the amortization schedule. I like it. I save it. I go back. And I can attach a document if I want to provide the proof. I can attach a comment, I can attach a hyperlink, and I can also do accounts as substantiation as I am going through it. Okay, now my unidentified difference, I apologize for not being able to show 5,000 before, but it was 5,000 and uh, now it is zero. I also have the ability to actually certify this account based on the policy supporting items and all the list component, timing item, the details around it. Now, where do I find the details for that? I can find them right here. They're also able to be imported into Blackline and uh, you can use all this information, not only to substantiate your, your account, but also if somebody is uh, not available uh, and you have somebody else to fill in, they can go ahead and um, use this information in one place. So nobody has to go look for the binders and find the details, how to do, what to do about this particular account. In the settings part, it also gives you additional information, whether the uh, account is high risk. It also tells you um, which template was utilized. It also gives you the information of the threshold that is there designed for this particular, um, uh, this particular account. I can certify it and I can, if the amount values changes for GL balance or something else, this account automatically decertifies and sends me a message and I can have come back and have a look at it. As soon as I finish this, my, uh, my, my dashboard gets updated and the status for this particular um, uh, this particular uh, account will turn to uh, view. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at our other dashboard. This is an executive dashboard. I just created and created a screenshot for you. I just quickly want to show you how the data flows into uh, Blackline. Um, so in, we can import data automatically from intact pre-populated policies and procedures, user entered data can come. If it meets auto certification criteria, your account's automatically system certified. And if it doesn't, user can certify it. These are some examples of the templates and we use the amortizable prepaid template just now when I was doing the demonstration. These are the list of auto certification rules. These are the rules that Blackline has learned over 20 years working with 3,000 customers, over 260,000 users worldwide to use which are the uh, accounts that can automatically get certified without creating much, uh, much work for you. This is Intact Connector. This is one of my favorite features. What I want to talk about is it gives you automated data import with no IT help. How happy are we about that? And all IT has to do is give permission and give you a ability to do some configuration. Um, automatically, you can bring in the 
data for GL account transaction trial balance currency rates and how it works is that it is rule based complete audit with complete audit trail it's customizable extensible fully integrated providing you end to end integration. It can also be used for transaction matching and um, in the interest of time, because we are kind of running behind, I just um, want to show you the, de uh, the deck. Um, we can create multiple data sources. Um, the business rules that you use one to one, one to many, many to many, many to one in your actual transaction matching that you do with your multiple um, screens as a, as a, uh, as an accountant, you won't have to do that. Um, instead, what you would do is you would um, use black line for it. I'm going to quickly show you how we set up the black line um, uh, data sources and rest it works very similar to what I just showed. So um, uh, the concept is uh, similar. I want to show you a match set before I run out of my time. These are the two different data sources, um, deposits per bank, deposits per GL. Transaction matching tool is just an engine. You can actually do two-way or three-way matching. And all these rules are nothing else but your own business rules. You don't need IT to set them up. You can set it up yourself. Uh, in short, I'd like to say that, you know, the built-in, um, uh, built-in, uh, integrated fashion, how you build, bring your data from intact into black line, process it, and then you're ready with all your work that you would have done otherwise manually, which is very error prone, delayed, and um, and and the error and um, not really uh, effective. So what I what I'd like to show you in the end is um, a. Last slide, uh, because I think I'm almost run out of my time. Um, 